it all started kind of like oddly to be honest um it was like i just finished university i was like couldn't find a job I was getting like heavily depressed and stuff so like i thought what i'm gonna do like with me time so like it, it, people at first people thought i was a forger a money forger because i was making fictional money it didn't exist but it looked like real money so i started subverting real money and making you know um billion trillion dollar zimbabwe and notes which existed anyway but i was making them like whatever so things like that then i was making like zero british notes but when i started putting them out there just just as just something to do people kind of like they, wow they, what the fuck are these like they look really they look real and stuff so at first a lot of people assumed i don't know i thought they thought they had some kind of like really clever photoshop background or some kind of forging background which weren't the case so from, from putting it out there and showing people people were getting interested in it i was like oh this is this is kind of cool so i found like this whole like subculture like a genre of people that just did money stuff which was really weird i was like wow yeah there's, there's not just me there's loads of people so i started to like meet other individuals and there's like there was only at the time but like eight or ten in the world so i was like oh this is fucking this is awesome so i made some gifts and stuff and then i, I sent them to banksy and i was like yeah didn't hear nothing like left it a month chased her up i was like what the, what the fucking what do you think of this like it's like it's fucking cool my like, baba said i made i made him something i said you want to use it he's like um i can't think how i can use it I said, it's fucking cool as fuck but you know it's okay so i looked more into his work and i was like holy shit man look at all this it's not just defined to money art it's it's fucking street art it's graffiti it's all kinds so then i thought oh fuck i'm gonna do i want to do this this is awesome much more less constraint than the notes to me mine was limited to say like while well, it was still socially political but it was very limited to economics and things like that was the street art thing it brought it, it fucking it covered everything man homelessness drugs abuse everything i could think of i thought shit this is it i was in like a, like an art forum and i was chatting to people and it was this really cool lad he weren't famous or nothing but he had no ears and graces so i messaged him and i'm like Oh, I mean, your fucking your ideas are like solid the bestest so i said do me a favor mate and i told because we used to chat and he always used to say to me oh, your ideas are fucking the, the best i said do me a favor man if i do this and I send you some money and spray paint will, will you do it and he's like nah he said i said the exact same thing you said to somebody else and my advice was do it yourself he said go away and do it yourself best advice anyone ever gave me and that's what i tell anyone because i get contacted daily by people saying what do i do how do i do it and i simply say you do it this like like kind of gave me the confidence just go okay so i'll start to cut me on stencil i'm not the bestest to be honest i can cut multi-layer stencils people aren't aware of that i can go quite quite big but i'm lazy i don't want to if i can get the same effect out of one or two layer and the message is done it's done and then we kind of like my ideas and me me text things kind of translated to that so I, I had a little go of putting that out testing the water people were like fuck yeah man they liked it like this is quite cool then i realized it was like a whole scene of um oh man it's like a really big subculture it's like football um you know like you have like premier league division one division. it's like that with the r thing you've got like these people in the upper echelons or what echelons is that the word you know what i'm saying like your banksies invaders your shepherd fairies but then below that you've got this entire like fucking massive leagues of other people who just keep going and doing it and they don't give a fuck if they're division four they go out in their hometown they do it yeah. and that's the that's the beauty of it you can either be like aesthetically pleasing or it's got to be a message do you know what i mean it can be both but it's got to be one or the other so if you can kind of like tie in with with that you've got it i mostly do stuff and put it on the street 
um, one, I want to. <laughs> and two, there's a message I want to get out there. People that do street art, it's not fly posting. We're not trying to advertise nothing. It's just something you do. So I'd go out on the street and do it mostly for people to either, one, they'd see it and laugh because I'd try and have a bit of element of humour in it. Or two, it might make them think on their, their, their way to work. They, they'd see something and think, oh, fuck, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's how I used to kind of see it, really. It's like, it's your only voice. I can't, um, I, I don't know, I can't really stand on a soapbox and scream and shout and people to listen. Yet, yeah, I could have fucking 5,000 people past that train station, look at that piece and go, oh yeah, that's right, that fucking Jesus, you know what I mean? And then, hopefully, they might delve a little bit further. Yeah, you just sprayed the name, haven't you, but it just fits it with this. So, from the humorous section, I just did like, um, I just, I thought, what's the most fucking insane thing I could think of was like, secret society of super villain artists. It's like, it's, you know, it's, it's fucking stupid. The name in itself is stupid. So I did it, and I put it out there, and people were like, getting onto it and digging it, and then, like, we, we started doing like little little exhibitions and stuff oh yeah we're putting like i said there's layers and leagues of people these people that would never have even exhibited or have had the work seen or wouldn't be known they now had another platform to be seen you know we, we've done like we've raised loads of money for mad stuff and that you know um recently the last one was a palestine t-shirt we give we give fucking a lot of money to sounds of palestine we raise money for kids um musical instruments and stuff like that and then prior to that we probably um stuff for smile train everyone in life wants they want to gravitate towards something they want to they want a purpose or they want something they want to do some good do you know what i mean every person is inherently good society or whatever will end up corrupting them but this was something for people that want to do good could you know, like gravitate to so I was happy with that. I thought, fucking hell, I could do some good with this. There's, there's a lot of people here that kind of like this concept. You know what? If I was to die tomorrow, I'd be fucking very happy, man. Extremely happy, man. There's people walking around with me fucking tattoos of me logo, and I've got the respect of me peers. As one individual, we can't change the world, but we can change the world of one individual. So... If by that one individual being a part of the sofa and having the confidence to make art or go out or write poetry or do do whatever the fuck they want, that changed the world. Or that one member that goes out and does that one little little thing, sits down with the homeless person, chats for ten minutes, says, I do fucking this, looks at their art, goes, fucking hell, that's good. You need to fucking do this or you need to write this. That could change their world. So I'm happy with that respect that. It's, it's, it's got a life of its own now. It's gone. I'm fucking happy. The future, there's stuff to do. There's projects I want to do. But yeah, um, I think it's going to live a little bit longer than me. So I'm happy with that. This, I just, I just like to come and do childish shit. It just made me laugh. Skid Marks and Spencer's undies. But it's actually Marks and Spencer, not Spencer's. So that's why I just made it like that. I mean, I like stuff like that, do you know what I mean? So you'll have a laugh at that. Uh.